During a courtesy call by the Minister of Urban and Rural Development to the Onambango Royal Palace, Onkwanilwa Philemon Shumba Nangolo informed him that income generated from the households that are relocated to pave way for the development of towns is cut off and results in a decrease in their revenue. He pointed out that their offices have over 40 staff members, including traditional councillors, of which only six are on the government payroll, which places a burden on their limited finances. He says the question remains, how will they be able to sustain cultural norms and practices with the absence of traditional homesteads, which remain a cornerstone of culture? On Kwanilwa Shumba thus requested the minister to engage the town councils to establish or allocate a certain percentage emanating from the relocations to be given to the traditional authorities in their areas. Imagine, one had already budgeted for the money contributed by those households for our authorities' upkeep, and when they are paid out, it leaves a dent in our finances. We are told that our communities should be able to sustain us, but this is not practical. I would like traditional authorities to at least be given a portion of the money or plots from South Shales of land. We are really left behind by these developments, but we are the ones that are mandated with rural land in our areas of jurisdiction. He says cases are no longer heard in villages but are now being carried out by the traditional court, which is a challenge in serving prompt decisions and assisting the aggrieved as they become too overwhelming for the traditional authority. Minister Erastus Utoni promised to look into the suggestion made by Onkwanilo Shumba and applauded the Ondonga Traditional Authority for its quest towards becoming self-sustainable. Let me thank you and your leadership for the current undertaking of cultivating 50 hectares of Mahangu to sustain your people and traditional authorities. Many traditional authorities nowadays only want to depend on government for support. Most of them have vast lands but cannot initiate self-sustaining projects. I am therefore urging them to emulate your good deeds while we look at the budget allocation to the traditional authorities. Ndapandashuya NBC News, Onambango Palace.